Alright ninjas, it's uh, Grizzler here, and today I thought I'll show you me playing a bit of WoW. Yeah, I play that too along with other games. Um, what I show, thought I'll show you is um, the epic Quala quest I was so lucky to get last night. Uh, if you're familiar with it, um, there's a tome called the Tome of Lost Legion that drops off the new zone, uh, Turner Isle, and it only drops from rares. As far as I understand, and it's like two percent drop rate or something. And thing is, everyone, all the warlocks can loot it. People who didn't tag the mob can loot it. Alliance can loot it. So everyone can do it. So it's just first one to click. And yesterday we found a mob which some other people are attacking too. But somehow I got the tag. But that doesn't matter. And. Um, we, I fought, uh, we fought this down, it, was ha it had like 10 million HP or something, so kind of, it was a long fight, but I to I got help from a very good friend of mine, and this this tome uh, actually dropped. What I've done so far is, I, because um, it's not soulbound once you pick it up, you can sell it at auction house uh, to other warlocks. Sells for a ridiculous, like from between 30 and 50k, though, so you can make a lot of money if you want to. But I'm not, I'm not picky, I'm not selling it, so I want to do the quest. So, what I'll do is um, show this quest to you guys. I know the how it goes, only heard that the end boss is freaking insane, but that's cool, I don't mind that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So, I clicked on this book uh, earlier, um, here we go. and it says speak with your demonic minion to determine the origin of the tome. And so I do that now. I usually <laughs> use my observers, I use him, although I, my favorite was the imp, but these days my DPS back I use them, so that's destruction. Do you want me to go? So, dear Squiddy, Karak, what can you tell me of this tome? Of course, this codex is written in the ancient Nazarian stone, Nathrezim, or the Dreadlord as he called him. But once an enlightened and powerful race, their skill in summoning and gateway magics has been surpassed by any in the great dark beyond. This particular tomb contains instructions to open a gateway to the another world. Sadly, I fear that the world no longer exists. It was destroyed as a show of power during the enslaved of the Korov. The tome is useless. I'm afraid no undead wallet can open such a gate alone. <laughs> Excuse me. I had no idea what was so well informed. It is the way of the observer to bear the witness to all things that come to pass. So many delicious magic have I tasted at your side, mistress. Fascinating. Ooh. The Codex appears to be a powerful tome written in ancient pre endemic tome. You strongly suspect it should be brought to the attention of warlock trainers in the capital city. Alright. Return to Kazan and seek out the warlock trainer who made it already. Yep. Let's do that. I know exactly where he is. If I have moved him since the expression. No, he's there. Alright. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Alright, um, fuck. Where's the entrance? It's here, isn't it? No, no. Sorry if any lags. There it is. Alright, Mr. Wallox Rainer, who is down here? No, he's not. Here he is. Alright. So then, tell me about this tome. Strength please. and honor. What? Where's this great dark? Did you find me? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a place. Strength. This book may just be the leverage we've been seeking. How familiar are you with the concept of Black Harvest anymore? After Deathwing was defeated, six of the greatest Warlock gathered together to teach all Warlocks advanced forms of magic sword from defeated foes. Take a look at the tomb beside me. Alright. 
Dabu. Farewell. He loved her, Tom. I'm gonna read this, by the way, so if you <laughs> don't wanna skip. Uh, raid, pupil, and know that I'm called Jebecca Shadow Brick. And it's my duty to share some of the wisdom of our daughter to with those who have the skill to read this document. After the fall of Deathwing, it was clear that the sorcery of Warlocks was sorely lacking in the bite when compared to the threats facing Azeroth. So our council of six Warlocks gathered to discuss how to best investigate the new magic witnessed by these threats. At first, the six of us refused to cooperate, tossing blame and bickering in his easily shadow balls and curses. Finally, after seven nights, the human candor spoke out. In the wake of Cataclysm, the ri rising tension between Horde and Alliance have driven the greatest heroes of Astor to train for war. Warriors have readily the war banners, and the Death Knights of Acheros have learned to control the undead, and it even said that mages are researching ways to undo time itself. The relentless darkness which bait Astor has been pushed back, Shogal is slain, and the remnants of the Twilight Hammer's cult have been scattered. Ragnaros is defeated and his army is forced back into the Firelands. Deathwing lies torn apart and his Twilight Drake obliterated. However, the powers they command are not easily gotten. Powers untapped and ripe for the taking. Ah, yeah. I didn't play much of Cataclysm, so I missed up most of the raid bosses, but. Well, I know just what happened anyway. In fact, among us now stands several who face, face their powers firsthand. His head pointed at a hooded figure across the room. A deep, sinister laugh echoed from the hood as it burst into flames and burned away to reveal the orc and Santa Ritzin. It is true. Pink skin, I was there when the fire lord was vanquished. The intensity of the flame was unlike anything you can imagine. The burning glow of Ritzin's eyes cast an eerie shadow over his burned, scarred face and ticked a screen. And true, spat a sharp fem. <coughs> and you spat a far sharp feminine voice. Shinfell, a blood elf and horn of which sharp spikes of twilight aluminum glared across the table. Until you've been a prisoner within your own mind, you know nothing of horror. Shinfell's blood had been corrupted during the fight with Shogal, and her arms were now covered in black marks left behind the corruption that had erupted from her skin. The experience had only served to increase the intensity of her sadism. Shinfell continued. Even the Fire Lord flames were overshadowed by the war chaos unleashed by the destroyer. She paused a moment and glanced to her worgen who remained eerily silent. Sinin, who had pr had been present when Deathwing was unmade and not spoken word since, Sinin's eyes narrowed for a moment and snarled at Ritsin. Can Canny Trad stood up from the table and took a deep breath. This is exactly why we are here. I have no love for any of you, but we each bore witness to pieces of being greater power. Imagine if we fused the molten fury of the Firelands with the unstoppable chaos of Deathwing. Even the powers of the Burner Legion could not hold a candle to our flames. Ritzin kicked his boots up on the table and snickered. And you asked who would do this? You? He spat. I think not. You have been, haven't been seen in a battle since the siege of the Black Temple. If I weren't for for having shared secrets of wilderness information with this council, I would kill you just for having the authority of summoning me. Catherine's lips pursed, pursed for a moment, but he relaxed and continued. No. The scope of his task exceeds the capabilities of a single member here. Proposed this council split into peers. Ritzin and Sidon would lead the group into Sulphurus. Similarly, Shinfil and Salarax would hunt down the remaining members of the Tyler Timer cult and persuade them to share what they learned. The poked faced gnome applauded with a mythical glee. Cadnard continued, Then we return, one year from now and take the results of our expeditions back to our own sects more powerful than we could have been alone. Ritzin frowned as he saw the greed son of the humans were dance across the council faces. And what would keep us from simply killing our partner in their sleep once it was a success? 
candles burn around the girl. Which is why we swear that if any members of this council breaks the contract and fails to return or returns alone, the others shall strike them down and banish us all forever. We either succeed together or die alone. Ritzin was a powerful warlock and could probably defeat Kanner by himself, but against all five of us, we all saw his hesitation. We all let our hands drift towards the scroll and weapons. Fine, Ritson Rickles agreed. I can play along with your fool's errand, but first I must know. Where will you all and that miserable forsaken you back be going? Me? spoke Kander with a wicked grin. Why? I'm returning to Outland. <sniffs> yeah. Cool, cool. So I guess um maybe You are ready to learn more, yes I am. I'm gonna take this, the journal to your back, a shadowbreaker. Read the journal and use the invasion contained within the track where she went. Find her soul stones and use them to locate her. For the horde! Victory! Oh, look at that. So, definitely going down land. I'm just gonna read the journal. Um, If I can find it, da -da -da, not by any fused drum, thank you very much. Um, you're an old, there we go. Chewbacca's journal. This document contains the daily journal of one of the master's warlock trainers. The page is filled with random notes, the occasional drawings of limbs, internal organs, and occasional tidbits on the preferred diet of Phalanthers. Near the end, an entry catches your eye. Day 26. It has been nearly two weeks since Kenner and I arrived in Outland, almost immediately after he departed for Shadow Moon Valley. I didn't bother to ask why, as long as he doesn't get himself killed. My researcher is in in this dusty wasteland continues as drudgingly expected. Why the Legion's onslaught has sus 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 oh my god, my English is bad. Subside died subsided a number of the rare demon specimens remains. Day twenty eight. The fell imps of Felspark Ravine in Hellfire are remarkably shady. I discovered they are just as easy to contract and service as their names are to learn. The ritual to summon one is trivial, trivial at best. Void lords are rather difficult to stumble across, but it takes very little proceeding to convince one to divulge the name of the rival lord. I have wondered once or twice if Canred will ever return, but in the end it doesn't actually matter. The council can put me de to death so long as my grimmers last. So will my legacy. Day 32. While examining the nas eating ruins of Pharaoh 9 today in another storm, I was ambushed by a race of floating eyeball squids. Calling myself Observer. See? <laughs> squiddy. And people said I shouldn't call him Squiddy. See? They're, they're squids. Exactly. Calling him the server. See, he needs to observe. Well, it doesn't say, but we'll say here, observer. See, gee, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you. <laughs> Calling us observer. They were unsexually intelligent. They expressed a deep desire to bear witness to all forms of magic and willingly offered the service in exchange for the print to consume new forms of magic. The ritual to summon observer is unexpectedly complex, while natives of the great beyond they are hiding migratory and summoning ritual must comp compensate for their travels. Without their willing assistance, summoning observer will be nearly impossible. Well, I master them, they're all friends. Many aren't you, Carrick? Yeah. Well you don't say much to you. Day thirty five. Canary had returned, looking incredibly grim, considered his undisciplined technique, it should be no surprise that his reachers have been less successful. I'm ready to attempt the binding of a high order member of the Burner Legion, but I dare not attempt the ritual alone. In fact, perhaps Kennerhead would prove the perfect test subject. Day 36. Remarkable! My first attempt to summon a higher order member of the Legion failed as spectacularly as planned. The Shivara broke free almost instantly after Kennard completed the ritual. 
I expect the frail human to be struck down while I banish the creature. In. Instead, in the instant that Shivara's razor sharp blade sliced through the air, Kenry's form shifted and the blades bounced as if it was striking stone. Unlike the typical form of metamorphism, metamorphosis, metamorphosis, I damn it, he did not complete the demonic transformation. Perhaps his research was a bit more successful than I expected. Day 40. The key to binding of Rathgard was ironically reducing the number of runic symbols used in the summoning circle. Rathgards are highly resistant to charms and compulsions, but readily responding to basic expression of strength. Kenir Vitad was unexpectedly insightful into the tradition the Legion uses compel to the Rathgar in actions. His ability to express his dominance over lesser demons is remarkable, if short-lived. With great pains I've been able to inscribe the forms he uses to summon multiple demonic servants at once. Unfortunately, while he can bind two the less demonically, I can only do for a short, short while. Day 47. We left a few ogre corpses in our wake, but studying the ritual circle of Mim Mimgol revealed additional ways of bolstering our power using demonic sacrifices. While the act greatly enrages the demonic ser enrages the demonic server, few said life energy drone provides a, a dramatic increase in power. I really like that they're describing all the powers, demonic sacrifice or um uh, fuck's sake, uh, Grim of Supremacy or Service, multiple demons, is that? It's kind of cool. Um, with a little experimentation, I discovered that the more closely linked you are with the demon you sacrifice, the greater the power of ritual. Canrod's ability to restrain his demonic treasure seems to have reached a plateau. Once again, his lack of power disgusts me. Things that would be trivial to most warlocks takes him an eternity. Day 50. At Canrod's in insistence, we headed for the altar of damnation in the Shadow Moon Valley. He seems to be convinced there is more, more to the hand of Gul'dan than is just a show of power. I'm not convinced, but at this point, when Grimmers are complete, I don't understand his obsession with controlling the flow of demonic power granted by his transformation. While he plays around with ancient altars, I intend to try my hand at opening a gate to conjure many wild imps at once. Day 60. Candor is up to something. To say that I'm concerned about her next move is a dramatic understatement. Ooh. A rag note is drawn on the back of the cover letter. I'm convinced there is no chance that we return from this adventure alive. There's simply no way I can take the risk of my remorse go and read. For that reason, I've contracted the aims to leave four fragments of my soul cell at the location listed in my journal. I'm sending this journal to you, my trusted friend. That should be needed to look at when may arise. You bring the four stones together. Find my body and ensure that my remorse are brought back to us. Signed, Jebecca Shadowbreaker. Awesome. So have to go there to Outland then. Um, find the four shards and yeah, cool. I, I'm enjoying this. Uh, it will be an interesting story. Um, well, too though, I'll split this into parts so they're not too long videos. I was just rambling now. <laughs> Uh, I hope you don't mind my accent and my bad English too much. Apparently, I have a bad day is falling. Um, so, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit, yeah? And have fun. I hope you will watch this. And if you like my video, subscribe and I might do some more. Thank you. Watch part two. Bye.